Hey everyone, uh, I'm Nishant, I'm the founder at Last Line, where we build tools for improving software reliability. Uh, you all know about these problems, you all know why they're important, what needs to be done and why do they exist. Uh, we don't need to talk again about why high cardinality and a sudden explosion of the data can cause our systems to go down uh, or managing the toil and the upkeep of the Rube Goldberg with our metrics infrastructure. Uh, or being sort of concerned about how do we solve for that one query that's going to generate concurrency challenges when there's a massive uh, dashboard being loaded as well. All of these are important, but what's missing in our opinion is we do not have enough control levers to manage this set of data. The only way today we sort of probably go back and think about this is doing instrumentation control, asking developers or teams to say, what can we do to make sure that we can reduce that cardinality? Or what can we do to make sure that uh, all the apps, while they're being monitored and sort of observed, uh, don't cause challenges on our existing in-house metrics infrastructure? Uh, but we don't think that's enough because you really need control mechanisms across the pipelines on things like ingestion. Uh, what could, if you could do for some of these high cardinality data, streaming aggregations or understand which team caused it, so team isolation or an app that caused it, uh, we really need uh, those levels of levers to be able to manage and run these data sets. Uh, or similarly at storage, over experience what we have seen it's about 70% of our observability data is not the usual access pattern while we have dashboards and sort of alerts. Most of the data remains unused while it's important for one of that debugging session at 3 o'clock in the night. Uh, most of it is, is not usually accessible. But then what does it mean for cost and sort of being able to scale it, not just linearly? Could we store it in a blaze tier, which only looks at most important use data, store it there, while the rest of the data could be provisioned on other cheaper storage mechanisms through a hot, cold, or an archival storage? But having those control mechanisms and a policy to sort of define that is what's missing, and it sort of addresses that, not having enough data controls or an overflow lake for certain high cardinality burst, right? You have certain high cardinality coming through, you don't want the system to go down. There's at least an overflow lake where you could inspect, look at what's important and sort of deploy a streaming aggregation to solve some of these. Uh, similarly, at a query layer, where you would want to ideally separate what and not cause concurrency issues when, like I said, uh, an alert manager is accessing the same set of data that your Grafana dashboard is probably loading. Uh, you want client separation, you want access to data that is independent of this lanes and sort of a quality of service that's maintained for the client separation. Now, having all of these controls becomes extremely crucial. And on top of that, you also have something called as macro support for PromQL queries that allows you to do standard mathematical functions like percentiles and everything else as part of that macros itself so that not everybody has to sort of think and write them and make mistakes uh, in being able to build those. Uh, finally, alerting, obviously being able to plug into using existing your Grafana dashboards or being able to have events and metrics uh, based alerting becomes extremely crucial, especially for scenarios like where today a typical alert would be like a 5% drop in availability, but what if you could essentially afterwards get a 5% drop in availability after a service deployment or after a service restart. Being able to correlate all of that together in a single pane becomes massively important. Uh, this is exactly what Levitate, the product that Last9 has, uh, solves for. It is, it's a managed metrics and events uh, warehouse. Uh, the likes of uh, Disney Plus or, and a lot of other customers who use it today have been able to save massively on the cost, primarily because of the bring your own cloud model uh, that allows them to sort of have, have control over their data, but at the same time have a control plane that lets them leverage and understand their data in a way that's best used uh, for what they know about their systems. Finally, lunch plans, we're hosting a lunch at Shake Shack, food coupons and demo for the product is on booth J, the last nine demo booth. Would love to show you guys and sort of hear your thoughts on it. Thank you.